Okay, so in this video we start a new chapter on factorization of polynomials and we begin with the definition irreducible polynomial versus reducible polynomial. Let D be an integral domain. Uh, let me call your attention to the fact that for the next few videos we are going to talk about factorization of polynomials in integral domains. The difference for factorization in fields is huge. Okay? So please don't get confused with this. Okay? So for the next few videos, and I will be underlining that over and over, for the next few videos we are doing, going to talk in integral domains. So a polynomial f of x from this uh, ring of polynomials, or this integral domain of polynomials, is a ring of polynomials, that is neither the zero polynomial nor a unit in the in the integral domain or the polynomials integral domain is said to be irreducible irreducible over d if whenever f of x is expressed as a product like f of x equals g of x times h of x with g of x and h of x from the polynomial integral domain then either g of x or h of x is a unit in the integral in the polynomial integral domain. So a non-zero non-unit element of the polynomial integral domain that is not irreducible over d is called reducible over d. Okay. So we have an integral domain. Okay. So this polynomial is in the polynomial integral domain and we are not talking about polynomials um, uh, it cannot be, we are not talking about the zero, the polynomial zero and we are not talking about units okay so that f of x is going to be called irreducible over the integral domain. If you can express f of x as a product of two polynomials, okay, and um, one of them, one of them is a unit in the polynomial integral domain, okay, a non-zero non-unit element. If if it is not reducible, it will be reducible. Uh, there is a game here between these two words. We have to be really careful here. Okay, let us take a first example. Let us take the polynomial f of x 2x squared plus 4. Okay, let us check if it is reducible or irreducible over the rationals and over the integers. Okay, so 2x squared plus 4, you can factor this as 2x squared plus 2. Okay, so 2 is a unit over k, over the rationals, right? Because there is an inverse, an uh, inverse element here. Yeah. Okay, so the polynomial is irreducible over the rationals. Oh, irreducible over the rationals. But 2 has no inverse over the integers, right? So it should be 
irreducible if one of the factors is a unit and that happens in the rationals right one of the factors this factor uh, is invertible or is a unit over the rationals what about the integers well this one has no inverse over the integers this factor has no inverse over the, the integers so we can say that that polynomial is reducible over the integers do not forget we are talking about integral domains okay and the other fact is that um, well um, to x plus 4 equals 0 to x minus 4 right so uh, so we have no zero either from uh, over the rationals or over either neither from the rationals neither over the rationals nor over the integers same, exa same example what about the rationals and the complex numbers it's also irreducible because over the, 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 the real numbers because I said the rationals I, I meant the, the real numbers because we do the same factorization and this is a unit in the real numbers okay so it's irreducible over the real numbers what about the complex numbers? Well, obviously it's reducible. Oh, sorry. Uh, reducible over the complex numbers because we even have two uh, x plus four equals zero. Well, there is a, a complex number here, right? To x squared and x squared equals minus 2 so we are going to get a complex number here okay so the number just do the f of uh, square root 2 right i if you do this you get zero okay if this happens then we can say that um, this polynomial is reducible over the complex numbers we were always talking about integral domains